Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to fire your rig up, hit your hydraulics or anything while you have that out. So I didn't know anything about hydraulics. I know very little now, but I definitely know more than I did. So the thing is, you got to flip one of the solenoid switches. Okay, I just received the new hydraulic cylinder for my um, driver's side uh, slide out and Tiffin just sent it to me. Here it is. All right. All right, one thing I want to show you on the old one, right here's the old one, and where I was leaking was somewhere around this seam and somewhere right in through here. You can't really see it, but uh, it's there. And if you can tell, and sorry, I've got some bags on this to keep hydraulic fluid from leaking. So if I got them upside down, they look exactly the same. The lines are the same. So, now just to uh, what will have to happen is this is going to come off I'm going to take this bolt this bolt off I got to count the teeth here uh, to make sure I get it in the exact same spot as the previous one so it will go on here and we're going to leave it compressed for now because I got to get it inside the RV and okay I just finished uh, hopefully my first and last hydraulic problem uh, but uh, we'll see about that. I wasn't able to really film it while we were doing it. I had one other person. My hands were full. The lighting in here is really bad. Nowhere to really place this camera. So um, I want to show you real quick what I did. So again, to recap what happened is I had a hydraulic leak in one of my slide out cylinders. Hydraulic cylinders. It wasn't an O-ring, so it wasn't something simple like that. It was actually a weld issue where it came apart. How it happened, no idea. Uh, I am going to talk to Tiffin when I get back there. But the guys at Tiffin, the hydraulic shop, kind of told me the steps I needed to do to do this. So I just want to run you through it real quick. I did, I did, as I get in here, I did buy the cylinder from Tiffin. And uh, we'll put the part number and stuff so you guys will have it. And uh, please leave a comment if you have any problems and I can tell you what I had. But uh, the part number for it. And the reason... Uh, the reason I bought it from Tiffin is because Lippard didn't have it. HWH is the actual cylinder, and they didn't have them or an ETA on them. So it was $516 plus shipping. But I tried to get it fixed, so I had no choice but to replace it. So, again, the way this thing hooks up, there's no bolts back here holding it. It is a hydraulic line here. And I'll show you as the cylinder comes up. And this is about center of the RV. And this block has two bolts, two half inch bolts right here that hold it in place. They have a shim on each side. So that has, these two bolts have to come out. That will drop this down. And then right here, there's a plate here which holds this bolt. Now it's important not to take this off until you know exactly the thread count where that big nut right here goes. And I'll get a better angle for you in a minute. But that nut right there has to come off eventually. I wanted to give you another look at this bolt. This bolt comes off. What it allows this to do is allows this to spin to come off. But before you take this off, you can do two ways, and I did both. You can measure from here to the end, which I did. Mine was an inch and a quarter. Or you can count the thread count. And I did that as well, 13 threads to the end. And uh, anyway, you just want to make sure this thing goes on exactly the way the old one came off. That's how it works. So I will tell you how I took mine off. The slide was all the way out, extended, and then we took off the four bolts of this, four bolts here, and dropped this down. Of course, had to unhook the hydraulic lines first, cap these hydraulic lines, keep from fluid coming out, making a mess. Plus, fluid will come out of um, fluid will come out of your cylinder too. So, just be careful. And so, and then I took these two bolts out, and then it drops out. But understand, you may have to compress that 
cylinder to maneuver this thing out. If you can figure out a way to do it without it, great, but we had to compress the cylinder which leaked fluid, so just know you may have a little bit of a mess when you're bringing it out. But that's how it comes out. Same way going in. This cylinder was compressed all the way in, so it's all the way to here. And so because I have my slide out, we hooked it in, hooked the half inch bolts right here, one on each side. We hooked that in, hooked the lines up, and then what we did was we bumped it, uh, we bumped this thing out about one to two seconds, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, until I got it all the way in position right there. Before you loosen up the hydraulic lines, before you take any bolts off, you need to release the pressure from the hydraulic pump. And so I didn't know anything about hydraulics. I know very little now, but I definitely know more than I did. So the thing is, you gotta flip one of the solenoid switches. This, this one has eight, eight switches. There's one switch, solenoid switch for each jack. You know, one for the left rear, right rear, one for the right front and left front. And those are on the back side, and I'm gonna show you. They're back here. And so you can see what I'm dealing with here. This does not come out. There's four back here. The outside ones are for the rear. The inside ones are for the front levelers. So those are levelers. This one right here is for my driver front hydraulic slide, the retract portion of the slide. So that will release pressure for it to come in. There's a solenoid on the back side of this on the opposite that is for the extend portion for it to come in. This, I assume, is for my passenger uh, retract, and then back here will be my passenger extend. There is a, if you get your hands way back in here, come over the top, come around this side, however you need to do it, the reservoir is back there. And it, and I don't know if you can see, if I can get it back there. Sorry, the lighting is horrible. You can see what I'm dealing with here. And right there, that white is your plug. That's your plug. So you have to pull that plug out to check the hydraulic fluid, and it's very difficult to see. It's easier if you had a long wood stick or something like that, you'd be able to see it. But anyway, so what I did is I flipped this solenoid switch down right here, released the pressure, and released the pressure for me to mess with everything. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to fire your rig up, hit your hydraulics or anything while you have that out. And so after I got the new hydraulic cylinder back in and got everything bolted up, I came over here and flipped the switch back up and that allowed it to operate. Went back up, what we did was we bumped it uh, out a little bit and then I started it back in. And then we went in, all the way in for a minute and what that is supposed to do is supposed to take any air that's in the line. It's, uh, it will take the air out so you don't have to bleed the lines, which was great. If you had a lot of air in the system, you'd have to bleed the lines. But luckily, just a little bit of air, you don't have to. It'll take care of it. So we brought it all the way in per Tiffin's rules or instructions. And then I took it out about six inches, brought it back in, held it for about three seconds, took it back out. I did it about three times uh, until everything seemed to work great. Really didn't have to do it that many times, but I was just trying to make sure if there was any air in the system that I took care of it. So anyway, that'll get you started. You get it back out. I mean, slide's working great. I don't see any leaks, cross my fingers, but right now it looks really good. Um, so, man, first hydraulic project. Thanks to my buddy Chris Clark, uh, Runaway with the Clarks. He helped me out, and then I had another friend come over to install, and uh, D help help me out there too so thanks to those guys but man i tell you what i don't really like dealing with hydraulic stuff but i'm glad we took care of it hope you like this video follow us on instagram facebook appreciate you watching until next time see butts on bedroom.